Lyndon B. Johnson is the 36th president of the United States. He was the predecessor of Republican leader Richard Nixon. Johnson accomplished the remarkable feat of being one of only four politicians to have served as president, vice president, senator, and representative. Prior to the New Deal era, many believe that Johnson's term as president marked the pinnacle of modern liberalism in the United States. Johnson initiated several legislative reforms in the areas of civil rights, public broadcasting, assistance to education, urban and rural development, arts and public services. His actions war on poverty helped millions of Americans to cross the poverty line which raised the standard of living in the country. As a statesman, Johnson expressed his views and thoughts on several issues ranging from politics to society. We've rounded up Lyndon B. Johnson's quotes from his speeches, writings, articles, interviews, and policies. Here are some of the most interesting quotes from this dominating leader in United States history. Enjoy. Yesterday is not ours to recover, but tomorrow is ours to win or lose. You aren't learning anything when you're talking. A man without a vote is man without protection. Education is not a problem. Education is an opportunity. We must open the doors of opportunity, but we must also equip our people to walk through those doors. Being president is like being a jackass in a hailstorm. There's nothing to do but to stand there and take it. When the burdens of the presidency seem unusually heavy, I always remind myself it could be worse. I could be a mayor. Poverty must not be a bar to learning, and learning must offer an escape from poverty. I once told Nixon that the presidency is like being a jackass caught in a hail storm. You've got to just stand there and take it. Every man has a right to a Saturday night bath. To conclude that women are unfitted to the task of our historic society seems to me the equivalent of closing male eyes to female facts. It is important that the United States remain a two-party system. I'm a fellow who likes small parties, and the Republican Party can't be too small to suit me. If the American people don't love me, their descendants will. I feel like I just grabbed a big juicy worm with a right sharp hook in the middle of it. I don't believe I'll ever get credit for anything I do in foreign affairs, no matter how successful it is, because I didn't go to Harvard. Our purpose in Vietnam is to prevent the success of aggression. It is not conquest. It is not empire. It is not foreign bases. It is not domination. It is, simply put, just to prevent the forceful conquest of South Vietnam by North Vietnam. A man can take a little bourbon without getting drunk, but if you hold his mouth open and pour in a quart, he's going to get sick on it. Peace is a journey of a thousand miles, and it must be taken one step at a time. Jerry Ford is so dumb he can't fart and chew gum at the same time. If future generations are to remember us more with gratitude than sorrow, we must achieve more than just the miracles of technology. We must also leave them a glimpse of the world as it was created, not just as it looked when we got through with it. We do not examine legislation in the light of the benefits it will convey if properly administered. 
but in the light of the wrongs it would do and the harms it would cause if improperly administered. The guns and the bombs, the rockets and the warships are all symbols of human failure. While you're saving your face, you're losing your ass. The noblest search is the search for excellence. Doing what's right isn't the problem. It is knowing what's right. John F. Kennedy was the victim of the hate that was a part of our country. It is a disease that occupies the minds of the few, but brings danger to the many. We did not choose to be the guardians of the gate, but there is no one else. The atomic bomb certainly is the most powerful of all weapons, but it is conclusively powerful and effective only in the hands of the nation which controls the sky. You might say that Lyndon Johnson is a cross between a Baptist preacher and a cowboy. We have the opportunity to move not only toward the rich society and the powerful society, but upward to the great society. There are plenty of recommendations on how to get out of trouble cheaply and fast. Most of them come down to this, deny your responsibility. There is but one way for a president to deal with Congress, and that is continuously incessantly and without interruption. If it is really going to work, the relationship has got to be almost incestuous. I'm tired. I'm tired of feeling rejected by the American people. I'm tired of waking up in the middle of the night worrying about the war. We are not about to to send American boys nine or ten thousand miles away from home to do what Asian boys ought to be doing for themselves. The vote is the most powerful instrument ever devised by man for breaking down injustice and destroying the terrible walls which imprison men because they are different from other men. Until justice is blind to color, until education is unaware of race, until opportunity is unconcerned with the color of men's skins, emancipation will be a proclamation, but not a fact. If two men agree on everything, you may be sure that one of them is doing the thinking. I will do my best. That is all I can do. I ask for your help and God's. We live in a world that has narrowed into a neighborhood before it has broadened into a brotherhood. We have talked long enough in this country about equal rights. It is time now to write the next chapter and to write it in the books of law. No member of our generation who wasn't a communist or a dropout in the thirties is worth a damn. The separation of church and state is a source of strength, but the conscience of our nation does not call for separation between men of state and faith in the supreme being. We have entered an age in which education is not just a luxury permitting some men an advantage over others. It has become a necessity without which a person is defenseless in this complex, industrialized society. We have truly entered the century of educated man. Whether we are new dealer, old dealer, liberty leaguer or red, whether we agree or not, we still have the right to think and speak how we feel. The last thing I wanted to do was to be a wartime president. A man can take a little bourbon without getting drunk, but if you hold his mouth open and pour in a port, he's going to get sick on it. There are no problems we cannot solve together, and very few that we can solve by ourselves. If one morning I walked on top of the water across the Potomac River. The headline that afternoon would read, President Can't Swim. 
I have learned that only two things are necessary to keep one's wife happy. First, let her think she's having her own way, and second, let her have it. This is a moment that I deeply wish my parents could have lived to share. My father would have enjoyed what you have so generously said of me, and my mother would have believed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and also subscribe to our video.